Another day, another story. In options trading, what are vertical spreads and how do they operate? Let's start with some vocabulary. Long implies to buy, and short means to sell. ATM is short for at the money. ITM is for in the money, and OTM stands for out of the money. A vertical spread is what? A vertical spread is an option strategy in which the same underlying asset and expiration are used for both the long, buying, and short, selling, positions, but the strike prices are different. Both of the options in this directional approach for trading options must be of the same type, either put or call contracts. What's a name worth? The strike prices are positioned lower and higher inside the same expiration cycle, which is why the spread is known as a vertical spread. The mechanics of vertical spreads. Vertical spreads function by enabling you to trade with a directional bias while determining your risk and the maximum profit and loss for your trade at entrance. One position is offset by another. The long position in a credit spread maximizes your potential loss, which defines your risk. In a debit spread, the short position not only lowers your cost basis but also restricts your profit potential. The premium earned from the short position in a credit spread exceeds the premium to buy the long position. A net short premium position, also known as a credit spread, is the outcome of the difference. Because the short options are worth more than the long options bought to define the risk, short call spreads and short put spreads are credit spreads. I personally never do debit spreads. If I am going to bet on a stock's direction, I would much rather collect money than pay money. The key components of a credit spread are the short option and net credit received. The long option acts as an insurance policy against the short option and determines our risk in a credit spread. In a debit spread, the long option is more expensive to purchase, premium, than the short option is to sell, premium, hence the net premium is negative. Because the long options are worth more than the short options that are sold against them to lower the cost basis, long call spreads and long put spreads are considered debit spreads. The asset in a debit spread is the long option. Selling the short option against the long option lowers its cost basis but does not ensure anything, although it does limit your profit potential. The amount of premium you pay to open the position represents the maximum loss in a debit spread. The closing price for each of the four lucrative vertical spread types needs to be better than the entry price. We buy back a credit spread to close for less than what we sold it for, and we sell a debit spread to close for more than what we paid for it. I like to aim for a 50% profit as a general guideline. Our human nature is to strive to wring every last bit of profit, but in trading, human nature is frequently our enemy. For instance, 50% of the maximum profit would be $75 if the credit received on a short credit spread was $150. If the maximum profit on a debit spread was $250, I would aim to exit the trade when the spread made $125. The bottom line is that you can take profit at any time. Well, not the same day because that would be day trading, which you cannot do in the US unless you have at least $25,000 in your account. You might earn 10% or 20% in a single 24-hour period. Given the brief time frame, that would be a tremendous victory in my trading strategy. Taking care of credit spreads. Managing credit spreads can lower your maximum loss possibility and raise your maximum profit potential. When controlling a credit spread, it's crucial to keep it from becoming totally ITM. What I strongly recommend you never ever do is let a spread or any option trade expire, unless it's a naked put and you want to own a 100 shares of the stock, or you really understand the possibilities. I woke up one Saturday morning to a margin call for $380,000 on a $3,000 account. It was easily fixable on Monday but made for a really bad weekend. In summary. Spreads are directional plays. In a credit spread you want the stock price to stay away from your short strike. In a debit spread you want the stock price to approach and exceed your long strike. Thanks for watching. If you found value here please like, leave a question or comment below and consider subscribing.